So we've made it to our first island camp. Here it is, Fran's just surveying the island, checking the surroundings, it's bloody beautiful. First thing you notice when you come in is this whole dark shadow here is all bait fish and there's GTs and mackerel flying through it, there's birds coming down. A beautiful white sandy beach for us to camp on. This is perfect, this is the reason we're going on the great adventure to find spots like this. set line on the hand line out here a livey swimming around in the middle of that school you think surely it's just a matter of time for a queenie or a trevally or a mackerel picks him up friends doing her best with a popper down the beach here there's birds diving on bait on poppers there's, there's a bit going on hopefully we can catch some lunch holy moly this is so fast did you see that come in and hit it what do you reckon it is? It's so fast. What? That was crazy. Ooh. Oh, what's chasing behind it? Is that a shark? There's a shark. <laughs> There's a shark after it. Get the dog friend before the shark does. Bring him up. Bring him. It's a Spanish mackerel. It's a Spanish mackerel off the beach. How good is that? Oh, beautiful. How cool is that? What are you doing there, Fran? What's the plan for lunch? Sashimi. Sashimi? Yeah. So, fish gets cut up, put in a Tupperware container, lemon juice, cherry tomatoes. We have Italian ceviche because it's made by an Italian. <laughs> oh, big bust up. That is all bait fish through here. Cruising along them is Spanish mackerel, like we just found out. GTs and queenies hitting the bait. Incredible. So the idea is the lemon juices actually cooks the mackerel, as you can see there. So it's kind of medium rare. Throw it on a cracker. There's your lunch. Perfect. One of the lowest tides of the year at the moment, so right on low tide now, we're going for a bit of a walk. This coral that's out of the water actually produces its own sunscreen, so that's how it, it can sit out of the water like this guy and not dry out. Whoop. Gone. Alright, dinner time today. We've got copper corn going straight on. And the other half of that Spanish mackerel. We did half ceviche for lunch, the other half is going on the grill. There you go. This is one of the reasons we wanted to come to these northern islands is so you can cast off the beach, catch Spanish mackerel. It's got to be a pretty special place you can do that. As the sun's setting, there's schools of bait fish here that are getting there you go, getting chased by bigger fish. So Pretty special fishery and that's what we're here to see and um, the first day certainly paid off. School of sardines right on the shore here. Get on Fran. Go, 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 go. Are you gonna go, 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 go. <laughs> Did you get the dogs? Surely it was. A... Oh, you got heaps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got them. Good morning from a little tropical island on the Great Barrier Reef. As you can see, it's a beautiful day to wake up to. We've just on the morning walk, we've seen a little bird here that uh, we saw yesterday. 
it's a, a little bit sick it's not well i don't know whether it's swallowed some plastic and can't eat or we're not sure so anyway we've we've cast out a couple of liveys for him we're going to go down and see if he is hungry and wants to eat these and fran's got some water for him as well so so literally at any time of the day you look out from your camp and there's like trevallis and mackerel and queenies just slicing through the bait fish so we've got a hand line set out the back there um hopefully when we get back we've got a bit of action all right here's that bird here. he's been sitting here for a couple of days it's a shearwater, one of those blackbirds, another name from, they've also heard them called Naughty Turns. Um, you can see Fran just sneaking up on him. The other side of Fran there, he's not too well, see? What I think's happened, I watched a documentary, I think it was a David Attenborough one, where there was all these shearwaters on the beach and this scientist slash researcher was going and she was actually grabbing them and um, like squirting some water into their mouth and they were vomiting up like, so so much plastic like a crazy amounts of plastic and there was all these dead ones on the beach where once they went and just opened up their bellies on the beach it was just jam-packed full of little bits of microplastic to the point where they're so full but they've got no nutrients and they can't fly so i think this is what's happened here yeah, there's not much we can we can do unfortunately we've just found a little hiding spot we're on bird watch um it's not looking too good here the seagulls have come in and taken over and now they're closing in on the mackerel frame Fran has snuck up like on all fours to it and lobbed a little dead fish and he's just come in and smashed it straight away now that we've scared those two girls up. Tackles that. Cast straight off the beach, you've got this beautiful sharky mackerel. There's a school of bait fish in the shallows there and birds and, and bigger fish are just hitting them over and over again. So I cast this little lure in and bang, huge explosion. Before the poor bugger knew, I had him dragged up on the beach, but how cool is that? That is awesome. So this morning there was a heap of water in the boat. We had a bit of rain. I was like, oh, I'll turn the bilge pump on. The bilge pump didn't work. Um, of course, I tested it a hundred times before I went in the backyard with a hose and it worked all the time. So I ripped the old bilge pump out, got a new one. Turns out it wasn't the bilge pump. There's something to do with the wirings up under here. So time to pretend I'm an electrician, see if I can fix this before sunset without electrocuting myself. Wish me luck. Right, eh? moment of truth. Battery, bilge pump. You hear that? That is the sound of a bilge pump working. That's the sound of the salty dingo not sinking tonight. Problem was, there was a cat under the console. I assume it's probably from the same litter that's been playing up underneath the Mazda beta there. It's jumped straight under here. And uh, it's been messing with the wires. But for now, the salty dingo lives on. Now, least favorite part of the day, anchoring the boat, swimming in as the sun sets. This is just something that you always feel uneasy about. But got a mask on, it's always better when you see what's coming. Let's do it. To spice up the, the grilled fish, I'd promised Fran some garlic naan bread this trip. She was very much opposed to the idea because this amount of flour is just far too much space taken up uh, in our little dry box, but I'm going to give it a crack. I never have made this before, but I've promised Fran the world. No doubt someone, some know it all in the comments will tell me I'm doing it wrong, but bear with me for a little bit. We'll see how we go. If you do have a better recipe, please let me know in a nice way. So, a bit of flour. A generous amount of salt, similar just to a damper mix. Might be a little bit salty these ones, but we'll run with it. <laughs> <laughs> salt to flour ratio might be a little bit off. And I think just a splash of water to start with. You go with a fork just to get it all going, then it's a hands on experience. A little later on. Oh, that is a very generous serving. So there's our two months rations worth of butter gone one garlic naan bread, bread so there they are the naan breads getting cooked on that nice coal base with the sunset and then the idea is we're going to cook the bottom side of them flip them over put a bit of garlic and butter melted on top there you have it garlic butter naan bread soon to come have a go at that it is a work in progress i reckon over the next month or so they will get better i dare hope so but for now, it looks all right. Is it good? 
It's really good. A little bit salty, but it's perfect. She said it's perfect, just not quite enough salt, she reckons. It's just perfect. <laughs> Bit of a tapas style tonight. Mm. It's so good. Is it? It's so good. Yeah? Hey, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. For those of you that are new, we, myself and Fran, are taking this humble 17-foot vessel up the east coast of Australia. We're camping out of this for about two months, one or two months. We're going to try island hop the whole way up to Cape York. It's going to be pretty wild. This was our first island stop. Um, it was bloody unreal. As you can see all around us, there's bait fish jumping in the shallows, birds chasing it. But that wind is picking up, so we're now racing the wind to our next stop, about 40 miles north. Everything's good, everything's just as it should be. And... Choppy this morning, but we're just going steady, steady. We've got a bit of a following sea behind us here, which is pushing us in the right direction. All right, we're out the proper shipping channel now. It's rough. We've got a bit of wind against tide, so it's getting choppy. And we've got some rain clouds over there. So it's sort of a race against time before it gets any rougher for us to Get to this next island and set up camp. Just seen a huge splash up ahead and it was a breaching whale coming down. Ooh. We're broaching here. Um, yeah, there's a big breaching whale up ahead here. So we're just gonna take it steady. It's still probably a uh, half a kilometer away. So we'll take it steady and then see what it's doing. Whoa! Whoa. What? That was one of the most amazing things we've ever seen. There was these four humpback whales on the surface and um, we put the drone up. You could see what they were doing. They were just smashing the top of the surface. It was almost like to establish a pecking order or something and then they were coming up and interacting with each other. And then there was dolphins like riding the bow of the humpback whales. So whales, dolphins, it's, it's all happening here. This is honestly incredible. And if you ever want to feel small about your existence on this planet, Come out and see four full-grown humpback whales staunching in the middle of the ocean in a storm. It makes you feel pretty small and insignificant. <laughs> there they are. All right, let's continue on, see if we can make it to our island before the wind picks up any further. Hang on. 